Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. Now we are going for the second part of the video in which we uh, again we have seen in the first video you have two networks, one is 1.0, second is 2.0 and these two networks are connected with the same router. Now let's suppose we have one more network which is way, you know, it's far away. So now we, we need a machine here and let me go for two machines. So we have a machine here and we have, we need one more. So take a machine and drop here. So now we have two machines, one with IP 192.168.3.2. Again, this is my network 1.0, network 2.0, network 3.0. So we have 3.2. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. So uh, again, we'll change the label. This is my 192.168.3.3. So we have two uh, machines, 3.2 and 3.3. So uh, now to connect these two machines, we require a switch. So let we will go for generic switch. So a generic switch here, and you can see now we have to connect these two machines with this switch. So we we take a wire. So we will pick a wire from machine to switch. Now again, you can see it's green and orange. It will take some time to make it green. So. Now both are connected, both are waiting to be become green, uh, uh, yeah, green. Till then we will configure our machine. So go to your machine and desktop, IP configuration, you have to assign your IP address, 192.168.3.2, submit mask and we will we'll specify gateway now only. So 192.168.3.1. For this machine, we have to again configure, go to desktop, go to IP configuration, it's 192.168.3.3. So this is your mask, this is default gateway, 192.168.3.1. Now as we know we have two machines, we have a switch also. Now this network will be 192.168.3.0. Now this is your network, right? Now we have to connect this switch to router because this network is far away from the remaining two networks that's why we require one more router here so we, we are connecting this router. Now we have to configure this router for that switch. So as you can see we have a connection which is FA0 slash 0. As you know we have to go to router then we have to go to configure again you can do it with configuration or CLI we will go for configuration now. So. IP address, we have to specify the IP address 192.168.3.1 You have to assign the gateway And mask, by default it will give you and you have to say on Once you say on, you can see it's green now We will change the yeah, mistake, sorry We have to do it again Again, don't do Oh, it's not working So again, uh, there is some, there's some problem with connection Accidentally I have break the connection, so yeah, not done. So now we have to call, we have to change this text. I will make it as 192.168.3.1. This is a gateway now. So uh, it's just excuse me, yeah, it's R1. We'll use label instead of uh, renaming the router, we will use label. So we will use a label here. Now this connection is 192.168.3.1. 3.1 this is a gateway here again you can see it's green now now to test the connection take a packet and drop it from your machine to router it's successful that means your machines and router machine and router is connected now main intention is to connect this machine with this machine but you cannot give direct line because it's uh, far away we can use routers so we have to connect these two routers now again for simplicity we'll connect this router from 0 to one now you can see it's not black wire it's red wire because this red wire signifies a serial wire so you can see here we have two serial wires one is serial dce second serial dte now basically when we talk about this this wire automatic when you choose automatic it will give you one end as dce second end as dte now dce will have clock now you can see here with se2 star 0 you can see a clock symbol here you don't have a clock now to configure this again we have this network right now let's go for let's give a label now again when you when you use machines 
you can go for class C addressing while go for autos we will use class A addressing so this is my IP for this point so this red point is this IP just switch make us make a shift here so you can see properly now so you have now so this while this link is 10.10.0.2 .10 .10 and we will assign this link as 10.10.0.3 now we have two links here one is 10.10.0.2 and 10.10.0.3 now if you specify this network now as you know with, with class A with class A you have this IP address it means you will get your network address as 10 dot zero dot zero dot zero because class a signifies last three will be zeros right now so this is your label right we have to configure your router to specify to satisfy this labels so go to your router zero now we have to do uh, we have to change something with serial so go to serial now as you know on this side we have a clock so we have to specify a clock of we can go for any number and normally go with 64,000 then you have to specify the IP address the IP address for that serial is 10.10.0.2 as you can see here it's 10.10.0.2 okay. give me a second give me a second sorry it was a call bad phones so we have an IP address 10.10.0.2 2 with a subnet 255.0.0.0 then we have to say on now this is how we can configure our serial from GUI okay so this is how we have configured this with GUI now we have to configure this router for this link we will use CLI this time now to work with CLI again you know we have to go back to your enable mode so we will be back to enable mode yeah. Now this is disabled your router is disabled now you have to enable it with the help of enable command or you can use en then you have to configure so conf t after that once we have done with the configuration now you have configuration mode now we have to change something with which is your serial so you can use int serial which is 2 2 slash 0 once you have done this you have to assign ip address so we can specify ip address it's 10.10.0.3 you can see here we have 10.10.0.3 then it specifies submit which is 255.0.0.0 that's it now then we have to set a clock because on this side you don't have to set a clock that's why you have to say no clock rate so it means we have we don't have clock so no clock rate then we have to on so no no shit. Okay, then now you can see our link is on. On both sides we have green and green. So this the link is connected physically and logically. Now we'll test this. Use a packet from this router to this router, and you can say it's successful. Now we will see from this router, this machine to this router, fail. Take some time. It was not Wait, was not this much this machine to this router fail for some time now after some time we will test the same thing again by convention it says you have to wait so we'll wait again we will do some time pass till then so from this machine to this machine it's working as usual from this machine to this router fail but the question arises continually getting failed it means there is some problem with network we have done with configuration but we are missing something see now whenever you go with configuration of routers you have to you have to concentrate on three things first physical connection so these are your physical connections then you have to focus on the configuration now you can see uh, everything is green 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 it means the the much the route network the network is configured the problem is this machines know about this router this machines don't know about this router we have to tell this machine where is this router we have to tell this machine where is this network and that's why we have to teach we have to make your router understand when you get a packet what to do next 
and that is called as routing so we have to teach them how to route your packets and this can be done with the help of static routing or you can use dynamic routing and we are going for the practical which is static routing you can see here you have to configure IP static routing which is possible with the help of static routing so go to your network now to, to, to configure this you have to go for static routing go to your router you will see something here so now in routing you have static and RIP RIP goes with dynamic so we will use static here now go to your static now in network in router 0 you have to you have to define this network so this network is 192.168.3.0 you can see here it's 192.168.3.0 the mass for it, it is 255.255.255.0 your next hop see to get into this net this network you have to come here so once your packet reach here this router will handle this network so your next hop is 10.10.0.3 and then you have to say add now when you say add you, you, this is your network now now this router knows about this network okay now this router should know about this two networks so go to your router configuration again we will we can do it in CLR mode also so you have to get back into configuration mode no interface mode Con in configuration mode you have to specify a command call as IP route now to, to route your packet you have to specify IP route to network this network so one will do for this network so it's 192.168.1.0 to come to, to this network your mask is 255.255.255.0 then you have to specify your next hop so this is your IP this is your mask this one is a mask and you have now you have to specify the next hop your next hop is this one so it is 10.10.0.2 once you have done this that's it now you, you have your IP route to, to verify go to configuration you can see static you can see your route is here now we see this router knows about one more network called as 2.0 so we can add 2.0 you can use GUI you can use CLI this your, it's your own choice I may give you both the directions so that you, uh, you can choose which is more preferable for you so it's 255.255.255.0 and your next stop will be again same 10.10.0.2 and then say add now once we have done this again we will check the network so from this machine to this machine it's working right it's, it's that easy so from this machine to this router successful so with this configuration you can check now every machine is connected so you can see from this machine to this router you can check, check in many ways again if you want some dramatic way just hold on we'll just reduce the size of the network so yeah so now now with some dramatic mode with simulation mode let's go for packet so from this machine to this machine and now you can check the way it follows so capture goes up capture goes up capture going to this network capture from this to switch from this to this machine now you get the reply and you can check it's working now this is how you can you can uh, you can do this practical this was practical number three configure IP uh, static routing so the same practical is there for MCA people and for I guess for Cisco also so now if you have any doubts please comment so that I, I will clarify your doubts and please subscribe for further videos thank you so much